We come down here this afternoon to check the watermelons and corn and the crows have been in the watermelons. They've destroyed probably what, Jean, about half of them or more. They just hollowed them out. We're a day late, but we've got this bird netting that's left over from the chicken coop and we're gonna put the bird netting over it and try to save the ones that we can, but they, they messed up way over half of them. Just kind of randomly tied some scare tape on these tassels. We're gonna have to make a uh, scarecrow or something and put down here. I mean, this right here will work, but we don't have enough to do all of it, do we? Hey guys, I'm Tracy and from Just Dig It Farms and we're at Petals From The Past today where I work and I got a sweet surprise today. I've got Bryson and Lila and their sweet mama, Sheena. <laughs> And we are, they brought me a birdhouse for the orchard. I'm super stoked about it. Look at it. Isn't it cute? They did such a good job, such a great job. Bryson is the builder, right? The carpenter, right? Yeah. yeah. The builder. The builder. And Lila is the, the painter, the artist. We got two artisans here that are making these awesome birdhouses. I'm super stoked to put this in the orchard. It's gonna be really cute. And of course, it's my favorite color, turquoise. <laughs> yep. So, uh, how long did it take you to build this? Like, are you whipping them out quick now? Yeah, I'm doing it really, really quick. Are you? All right. And how many have you built? I built 37 in all. 37. Since when? This summer? This summer. 37. And how many have you sold? Sold about 30. 30, 35. Wow. We got two little entrepreneurs here. That's <laughs> awesome. So if you guys are interested in one of these birdhouses, if you're a local, they, they don't want to ship them or anything, but if you're local, if you're in Alabama, well, probably central Alabama, right? Mm -hmm. If you're a local, just put me a message in my comments below and um, I'll get the information to uh, Sheena and you can order one of these cool birdhouses if you want to. So, uh, how long does it take you to paint them? Um, Did it take you a little bit? It takes a little <laughs> while. Yeah. yeah? How did you learn how to do this? Because distress is my favorite. I love distress stuff. It's my, my absolute. My mama teaches me how. Yeah? Your mama taught you how to do this? Well, I'm loving it. That is really cool. And I like how old it looks. And look at this. Who decided on this? This hardware here for the bird perch. Mama. <laughs> Mama and Bryson decided on it. Yeah. Well, I love it. I think that really is what like makes it look awesome. Such a good job. <laughs> I'm excited that I got to meet my little friends here today and I'm super stoked about putting this birdhouse in the orchard. So when I get back home, back to Just Dig It Farms, then uh, we'll show you guys us putting it up in the orchard. We are having our annual greenhouse sale this Saturday at work where we have um, everything in our growing field is 50% off and then everything in the retail section is 35% off. And um, last year we built our blackberry trellis out in the orchard and we never have planted the blackberries just because I haven't wanted to do anything out there until uh, we got the deer fence fixed because I've spent a lot of money just planting things out there and then animals and storms and everything else just, just destroyed it. So I was waiting before we plant our blackberries. And um, 
We've got this great sale. So our blackberries are usually $9 for a one gallon size, which is really a good price for blackberries, for Kiowa blackberries. And, um, but I need 27 of them. So I've been waiting for the greenhouse sale and I've got them today. I'm excited. I'm, we're gonna wait though. I'm gonna put them back here behind the greenhouse and we're gonna wait till this fall to get them in the ground because it's just too hot here now to be planting anything like that. But um, let me show you what I got. Here's my blackberries. I'm excited. I've been waiting on this since last year. Last summer we built our blackberry trellis and I've been waiting, waiting. These are big blackberries. They're like big as my thumb. So good. This is Kiowa. It's not thornless. It, it does have thorns, but this is, in our opinion at Petals, this is the better blackberry. It's got a longer life. It's more disease resistant. And it's got a bigger, sweeter berry. So I went with all Kiowas. So I'm gonna get these unloaded. I picked up a few other little things. I just can't help it. Seems like every single Friday I bring home plants. But um, Holly at Simply Lake and Lace and my friend Terry are both big houseplant people. And I usually haven't been a big houseplant person. Like, I don't know, I am just never have been a big houseplant person. But they have got me to where I want to be a houseplant person. They, I think I've got the houseplant bug. Looking at all their beautiful plants in their house. So I got these cute little pots. And I got these two plants. The beginning of my collection. This could be really dangerous, y'all. Now I'm adding houseplants to my addiction. Champ don't know what to think about this uh, scarecrow. Pop and mom come made this scarecrow this week, trying to save our watermelons. <laughs> what do you think about this thing, Champ? What do you think about this scarecrow, huh? I think he's doing his job. I think he's doing his job. I don't see any more crow damage in the watermelons. Yay. I think all our little shenanigans is working. We only had a little bit of bird net, but we covered what we could. Look at these watermelons. Oh man, look at that one. Boy, all this rain we've had, these watermelons have kicked it into gear. <laughs> took a bird feeder hook and an old CD and scare tape and scarecrows and bird netting. We got crazy. Just trying to come up with stuff real quick to get out here and protect our watermelons. And I believe it has worked because I am not seeing any more new crow damage in here. Corn's looking awesome. Oh yeah, we've got corn ready. These are ready. I don't know what they are. They're supposed to be Indian corn, but it's definitely not Indian corn, so I don't know what it is. But some of it's ready, and this, these will be ready before long. It's exciting. Good job, Scarecrow.
Ah, uh, champ. <laughs> It's a good feeling knowing we can eat those peaches and there's no chemicals on it. Get done ripening. We pick these. We'll trim this tree up. Take the strap off of it and straighten this tree up real good. Put a lot of good dirt in here and try to save this tree. Yep, the storm about took this one out too. It is nice to, to eat that fruit. You know, it's so sweet. Store-bought ones you get are about twice that size, three times that size, and just as pretty as a peach. They'll have a little mark on them, but these are, we're proud of these because these are organic. And the sweetness of the peach, peaches that we just ate is unbelievable. And to know that it is chemical free makes it all worth it. Hmm. You like this birdhouse? Look, see it. Look, you ain't paying attention. Look, that's a pretty group. Isn't that a beautiful birdhouse champ? Look. Yep, that's right. They're gonna land right there and jump in that hole. <laughs> Shout out to Bryson and Lila for making Tracy this uh, turquoise birdhouse. We like it. Champ likes it. I love it. <laughs> Tracy loves it. <laughs> and we just dig it. We're going to put it up here at the entrance to our orchard. All right, boss. Oh, yeah. Is that going to work? Mm-hmm. Does that meet the criteria? Yep. I may have to move that screw. Let's see. No, it'll go in. How's that look? Good. That's awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Thank you, Bryson, Bryson and Lila. Lila. We love it. Yes. Just dig it. I gotta pick some tomatoes, yay. But I'm sad about this one. This is my Dr. Witchy's yellow. Big, beautiful yellow tomato. I've been watching it and watching it. And then yesterday I come out here to pick it and it's all yucky. Stink bugs got it. So let's see what I got here. These look good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick these before the stink bugs get them. Oh, I brush broke my marigold, shoot. I've got some Romas that are ready. And they're stink bugs right there. Baby ones. I'm gonna spray those with some neem oil. We've had a lot of rain the past few days, which is good because we need rain, but then when you get rain and humidity, you get these kind of issues. So I'm gonna spray all of this with some neem oil. It's a fungicide, insecticide, miticide, and it's all organic. Oh yeah, those look good. I think those are ready. Those look pretty good. Those look good. This is my Aunt Molly's ground cherry tomato. Look at this thing. It is just going everywhere. These little ground cherries are pretty good. So you pick them, they actually just kind of fall off. Let me get a few of them.
You pick these little Aunt Molly ground cherry tomatoes when they look like this. Their covering is like a paper shell. And then you got this little tiny tomato. And it's weird. It's like a, it's like it's sweet. I don't know, it's weird. It's a weird flavor, but it's good. To me, those are just like a little garden snack tomato. Dean doesn't like them, but I like them. This little ground cherry is just taking over. It's going wild. But I got some good tomatoes here to pick and I wish I could remember the names of them to tell y'all. It's in my journal, but it's not out here. And there's a few on that trellis, not a whole lot, but a few. I gotta pick squash. We've been getting a lot of squash. A lot of squash and zucchini. I've got a whole counter full in there I gotta do something with. So, we've been getting a lot. Look at my beans, purple hole peas. There you are, champ. Won't be long, I'll be picking purple hole peas. Look at all these beautiful peas. Wow, look at this. Won't be long, won't be long. Get out of there, champ. That's all sweet potatoes taking over the world. Looks like I got rust on my cucumbers over there from the rain and humidity. My black eyed Susan vine's going crazy, but I've got to get it pulled up onto the bed. Look, my zinnias are blooming. This is that Queen, Queen Lime series. This one is blush. That is so pretty. I got one over here too, and that's the uh, lime. These are so pretty. I love these colors of this Queen Lime series. I'm loving it. Finally got okra coming up. Fourth time's a charm, I guess. I gotta go through here and thin. But I've been waiting because this bed, the first bed over there, I have okra too. And I've been thinning from here and transplanting over here because this didn't take. And I wanna make sure I've got plenty going over here before I thin those out. And I got a, good, I got a few coming on. There's still some spots I think I could fill in. But I'm happy I'm finally getting okra to come up. This bed looks rough. I have replanted beans, I think three times in this bed maybe. They're coming up finally, but this is the bed that the armadillo pretty much annihilated. And guess what y'all? I'm so excited about this. Jean found this the other night. Look here. You know what that is? That is that climbing okra that Pop and Dad got over 16 years ago from that man. If you haven't watched that video, y'all go check that video out. Uh, I'll put a link above for the video. But this is climbing okra and it is like special to me and I'm super excited. Out of all those seeds I planted, I've got two right here that germinated and made it. I'm so excited about that. If I can save the seed from that, I'm gonna be stoked. And here's my sweet potatoes and pole beans. And I've got some beans ready. So I'm about to come pick some of these.
Yay! Our sun hemp is coming up good now. I mean, there's some empty spots, but still it's coming up pretty good. We've been feeding it to the chickens and to Amos. The buckwheat's coming up a little bit over there. I only have a few of the pink and the red ones, but mostly the white worked. This sun hemp's coming up really good in this bed. Some new sunflowers that came up. Isn't that beautiful? Those sunflowers over there pretty much had it. That storm blew them down, knocked them over. I picked them up, tried to save them. But they're about on their end. But I got these coming on now, and they're beautiful. What are you eating, champ? What are you eating? You like corn? You like corn, buddy? I like big corn in a cannot lie. <laughs> what do you think, Champ? You want another one? That a boy don't eat all my corn. <clears throat> I got a good woman at home who cooks me some corn all day long. Mm -hmm. She can bring home the bacon, fry it up in a pan, and never, 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 never forget Jesus, man, cause she's a farmer. Rain makes corn, corn makes whiskey, whiskey makes old Tracy, <laughs> yeah, get a little frisky. <laughs> oh, Lord.
Every day I had to work the fields. It's the only way we got our meals, you see. I was the oldest in the family. Lord, give me strength to make another day. Well, the years have passed. My friends are gone on. The angels took my mama to a brand new home. Lord knows. <sighs> There's a lot of corn. Dang. What are we going to do with all that corn? We're going to eat it. <laughs> with a little butter. Pepper. And <laughs> salt. Hey, when this young sun hit like this. Yeah. Make sure you, uh, if you pull any, you got to like hold the middle of the plant and pull the top out or you'll pull the whole plant out of the ground. Yeah. These chicken, chickens and Amos love this sun hemp. I guess Champ does too. <laughs> But it's high in protein and nutrients. Like He's eating it. But um, we got this because it's a good cover crop. And when we get goats, they're going to love it. But it builds your soil up. It's very good. Easy to grow. I'm exhausted. I am too. We got a harvest. Corn. Dinner. Green beans. Onions. Garlic. Eggs. Blueberries. And I didn't even put a dent in the blueberries in the orchard. Look at it. Yummy. That's pretty. Some herbs. Some herbs? Mm -hmm. Oh. Tomatoes, bell peppers, squash, zucchini, cucumbers, peaches, and the end of the Brussels sprouts. I can't believe they're, they're still good. I would have thought by now they would have been buggy and yucky. These are still good. That's a harvest. Uh. I said, that's a harvest. I almost feel like a truck farmer. <laughs> I guess I got to get you a turquoise old truck now. That's right. I need a turquoise old, what is it, a Ford or a Chevrolet? Something. One of those old turquoise trucks so I can be a truck farmer. Look at this. Wow. A few little herbs, corn, a few beans. They just started. And some legs. <laughs> just dig it, Tracy. Just dig it. What you going to cook me for dinner? Uh, cereal. Oh, sh <laughs> I had that for breakfast. Yeah. Just a shuckin'. Shuckin'. Gene and Tracy on the porch. Shuckin' this old corn. Can't believe we're about to get it on the grill. Just a shuckin'. Where are you, Jazz? Meow. Come here, Jazz. Meow. Come here, Jazz. Jazzy, you want some corn? Yeah, we're shucking. Come on, baby girl. 
<clears throat> There's an old flame burning in your eyes That tears can't drown and make up against the skies Now that old flame might not be stronger but it's been burning longer than any spark I might have started in your eyes. Down, 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 down. You said it in. <laughs> Dead when he left you. Say your love for me is strong, but those old honeybees. I had to get in my shoe. They love you. Okay. You've got some kind of pheromone. Look at it in my shoe. Go on, you. <laughs> well, I loved her. Had to fish. I spent all day out on this lake, and corn is what I catch. But the day she met me at the door, said I would have to choose. If I hit that fishing pole today, she'd be packing all her things, and she'd be gone by noon. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her when I get home. Cause right now I'm on this creek shore and I'm sitting in the sun. I'm sure it'll hit me when I walk through that door tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna miss her. I'll look you there. I got a bite. All right. This is the way I like my women all shucked up. <laughs> take all this corn and eat worms to the chickens. Oh, Ruby's gonna like this. I love it. Ruby! <laughs> Ruby, I told you! 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 
our neighbor that used to live next to us in Clanton, they were farmers and he grew corn. He taught us just to break the end off of it, shuck a little bit of it, pull the tassels off and throw it in a bag and put it in the freezer just like that. And then when you're ready to eat it, you just throw it in the microwave for a few minutes and it is so good. And that's like hardly no work. And these, they had a little worm on the ends of them. So I went ahead and shucked those all the way and I'll just, we'll be eating on these this week. Yay.